here. So if you're just tuning in, we have a brand new legendary champ that's coming this Thursday. Now this is going to be a fragments fusion. And the last fragment fusion event that we had was Elagaius. So check it out. The guy that we have coming this week is Iron Brago, who is going to be a brand new orc legendary champ. You could type the exclamation mark fragment in the chat right now. And it's going to give you some details about him. He's a legendary orc defense spirit affinity. Okay. Now here are his skills and his details. Here we go. Iron Brago, as I mentioned, is he's a faction. He's going to be orc rarities. He's going to be legendary type. He's defense and his affinity is going to be spirit. Now he does give me Robarb, but also samurai vibes. Anybody else? Because what this makes me feel like is, you know how we're supposed to have the new samurai faction coming in the spring? As soon as I saw this guy, he reminded me almost like Sado or Fane or some of them that still have the samurai colors and the vibes to them. That's what he feels like for me. But check it out, when we get to his passive, I love his passive. So let's start. So his A1 is Molten Pummeling. Attacks an enemy, has a 20% chance of decreasing duration of buffs by one turn. He does have samurai style armor, right? Did you say Ivan Drago? No, he said Iron Brago. Ha 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 20% chance of decreasing duration of all buffs by one turn. A2 is called Fearless Charge. Places a 60% increased defense buff on all allies for three turns, then attacks one enemy. Has a 75% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Has a 75% chance of placing stun for two turns instead of if the target is under two or more buffs. I hope he says, I will break you. I hope he does do that. I hope they add that into his lore somewhere. I will break you. A3, Battlestorm. Attacks all enemies. Has a 50% chance of placing a provoke debuff for one turn. Also places a 50% decrease attack debuff on all enemies for two turns if Iron Brago is under an increased defense buff. Now what I really like is check out his passive. His passive increases defense of all allies by 10% of this champion's defense. Now, it doesn't just say increases defense of all allies by 10%. It increases defense of allies by 10% of his defense. Of his defense. So I think this is pretty cool. What do you guys think of him? What do you guys think of him? Like I said, he definitely does remind me of a samurai type champ, which I think is interesting because we do have the samurai faction coming a little bit later. I love the passive. And yeah, we don't really know. We don't really know what the books are going to do. If you can book a cooldown at A2, it's a permanent defense buff on all allies. Yes, it's going to depend on... It's going to depend on what we can do with the books. But you're right here. This place is a 60% increased defense buff on allies for three turns. And the cooldown's four. So you're right. If we could book it down to three, it's permanent. It'll be permanent. But I like this. I like the A1. Has a chance of decreasing duration of buffs by one turn. I like this, A2, especially if we can book it down to a cooldown of three, because exactly here is that the increased defense buff is on allies for three turns. And then Battlestorm has a provoke. What seems interesting is adding these, these champs that can provoke could be useful in Doom Tower, right? So we can already see that. You're thinking with him and Valkyrie. Powerful for carrying through content. Yes, and that's a really good point because when this champ was introduced, they said specifically to help with orc faction war because the orcs were a bit lacking in this department, right? Can help early mid game, but might not have any value late game. It probably depends on what your roster is later. Clan boss. 
Yeah, I was thinking that too, right? Especially with this A1. 20% chance of decrease in duration of buffs by one turn can be really nice. Pretty much permanently increases defense of allies. And again, not just by a flat percent, but it's a percent of his defense, which I think is pretty cool. What do you guys think? I would love to know what you guys think of the new Iron Brago champ. Do you love it? Do you not like it? Can you already think of some uses or some places you would like to use him? Now, keep in mind, this is going to be a fragment event, which means we're going to have events and tournaments where you're going to have to collect fragments and fuse him. Very much like Elagius was the last one that we had. He's not going to be a traditional fusion. The last one we had was Pixneal. So this one is going to be a fragment event. And usually people tend to like the fragment fusion events a little bit more than the traditional fusions. So I would love to know your guys' thoughts. What do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you excited to get him maybe to help out in your faction wars? Can you some of the uses for him? Make sure you guys leave me some comments down below and tell me what you think of him. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash LaylaFoxNation four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and be part of our community and we'll see you there.